Welcome to the end of the carrot. The end of the runway for Sonic the Hedgehog 3 has ported over on the Sonic Ultimate Genesis collection for the Xbox 360. In this final episode of the Rock Rabbit Commentaries playthrough, we're going to take down Dr. Robotnik's Project Death Egg once and for all, the second iteration of the Death Egg, in order to thwart Dr. Robotnik's plans of taking over the world. So are we ever going to do three and knuckles? I've uh, honestly, you would be my help at getting an actual pour of Sonic Three and Knuckles because I don't have that available on Sonic Ultimate Genesis Collection. Other other ah. Sonic compilation emulators do support Sonic Three and Knuckles, but this one I do not. Okay. And just to show that there is literally no benefit, even if you have invincibility of getting the Doctor Robotnik. Uh, TV screens. Just don't hit them. Mm, but you see, Mr. Cloud... Oh! There's water in Launch Base Zone. Yes. You see, we're right on the ocean. Kind of like Florida or something. Cape Canaveral. Oh, yeah. Here is here is another series of moments when being supersonic can be hazardous to your health, because we have to wait for the level to finish sending us through the pipes before we can move again. Oh, you send no, me back. Red Spring, we want to go this away. You send me back. No, I want to spring forward. And get the rings, get the rings. If that's 80%. Oh, brother. Yep, we're gonna run out of rings again. <laughs> like, we spent all this time just getting supersonic, and here we are. Launch Base Zone is one of the hardest levels in the game to actually stay as supersonic. Hence, we're going backwards just to get rings. Well, the thing is, Mr. Cloud, although although that is definitely a problem that you are most certainly having, it's also not a problem. It's also uh, you... You very specifically are using Supersonic to get through a, major a majority of the d more difficult segments of these levels, and then, and then, fu and then you know, uh, doing battle with Robotnik uh, effectively on even terms. Right, for example, this is- now we're on the final boss gauntlet, but now my only protection is a fire shield. Because Supersonic freaking ate all of my rings. Okay, remember, he always launches- he- he alternates where the ball is firing from every time. So as long as you are paying attention to the pattern, and also whether the ball is rotating up or it shatters on impact, okay? It shattered that time, so it's not coming back. It's gonna come out from below. You're, you're trying to trick me now. Whoa. Remember, you do not get a checkpoint after you take out this first of the three boss segments of the final boss of Sonic the Hedgehog 3. You have to defeat all three of Dr. Robotics' machines in a row. Nice. Okay. Because defeating Dr. Robotnik also causes his ball to shatter. Bye, Tails. And so here we're going to be using his ro uh, his robotic copter in order to uh, bomb him, right? Heh, <laughs> you can't get past me, buddy. Oh no, we're, uh, uh, we are using the uh, robo uh, the uh, robotic copter to climb the rocket ship as it is launching. <laughs> Sonic just keeps right on going, like. Fuck you, I'm Knuckles. I'm Puff Jr. I bet. I'm Scooty Puff, Scooty Puff Jr. To the Eggmobile. Away. He's like, wow, it's actually da -da 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 -da. pretty... Gosh, all those, all those times I've seen Dr. Robotic flying one of these, I never realized, like, it even has cup holders. And here is where I start using safe states for the rest of the playthrough. Ah, uh, but uh, thi this fight isn't actually that bad, right? Like, uh... Like, specifically this phase of this fight isn't actually that bad? Yeah, you mostly just have to watch out for that little silver orb that he's got rotating around his rocket ship, because all you have to do is just sit on him and hit him continuously. But Dr. Okay, now, we're, now we have to deal with Big Arm, and Big Arm is... Uh, uh, Big Arm actually has the ability to kill Supersonic, if I recall correctly, although um, we're not going to see that here. No, we're not. And we're not going to see any retries either. This freaking okay. fight... 
took me it took me more time to defeat this boss even using save states than it took me to do much of the game i think right like 12 minutes was the amount of time it took for me to finally get a run of me attacking this form of big arm um the now, sign, the, could you spin dash him while he's doing the ground dashes there? You can't do the you can't spin dash him doing the ground dash. The only way to hit this guy is you have to jump into him. You can't hit his arms. You can't hit the spikes on the front, and you also can't hit him in the back because then you're gonna get burned by his jet by his jet flames. Right. The boss of this know, it guy. It looks like you should be able to to spin dash him right there. Sonic the Hedgehog two boss is about as difficult as this one. No, it's, okay. do not do not spin dash. Don't try don't try doing much improv improvisation at all. You get two chances to hit him, then he comes down from above. He comes down from above. You might think you can squeeze a hit in, but you can't because his big arms are actually blocking you. Now jump. Okay, is he low or is he high? If he's low, uh, do a, if he's low, do a medium jump. If he's high, do a big jump. Mid. There! Yay! Once you know, uh, once you know what to do uh, as as a response to uh, to his positioning, Big Arm is not uh, is not that difficult. But he is still one of the scarier bosses because uh, he's at the end of a gauntlet, and you're likely to be out of rings by then. And you know that you're at the end of a classic Sonic the Hedgehog game because now you're starting to see different animations for Sonic the Hedgehog, like him turning to the background. To watch the Death Egg falling from the sky, having died during launch. <laughs> you can't stop but this wag. But we don't get to do the galaxy chase scene. Oh well. And we get the true ending because we got all seven of the Chaos Emeralds. I mean, the true ending in quotation marks because, again, this is not Sonic 3 and Knuckles, it's just Sonic 3. Right, 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 right. As we've mentioned multiple times throughout this playthrough, uh, Sonic 3 is meant to be played with the with the end Knuckles attachment, specifically because you get a couple more levels, you get an actual you get an actual supersonic boss, and a lot of the individual features between the two get uh, get combined together. Specifically, multiple saves, the ability to save, and uh, the ability to play with Knuckles. Wow. And you also get to see the different pathways that Knuckles can take during the game. For example, even in this very episode, Launch Bay Zone Act 2, there's a wall that only Knuckles can break. Supersonic cannot break down Knuckles' walls. Okay. And that's why Knuckles never gets to fight Big Arm, right? That's why Knuckles never gets to fight Big Arm. Knuckles does have to fight... He does have to fight the Egg Rocket Ship, is the thing. Okay. I would imagine that taking out Big Arm as Knuckles would be slightly awkward, except that Knuckles is allowed to attack enemies by ramming his knuckles into them while he's gliding. Mm -hmm. uh, but Sonic 3 and Knuckles is regarded as, as one of the greatest uh, Sonic the Hedgehog uh, platformers of all time, and I'm still indifferent on it, to be perfectly honest. Um, I still very much enjoy... Uh, a lot of uh, some of Sonic's uh, later titles, specifically, I enjoy Sonic Heroes. I would do a playthrough of Sonic Heroes if it wasn't so fucking buggy and frustrating towards the middle of the game. <sighs> God damn it! And uh, I actually do enjoy Sonic Colors quite a bit too. Um, I even enjoy Sonic Colors DS, but not enough to actually do playthroughs of it. I have tried to play Sonic Mania. I am too terrible at it in order to finish it. And Sonic Superstars looks like I would actually be able to finish that if it weren't for the absolute bullshit that is Trip Story. <laughs> Trip Story. Sonic the Hedgehog as a franchise has got a lot of ups and downs on it. And it's a shame that I've never actually experienced Adventure and Adventure 2 because everyone uh, keeps wanting... Uh, a, lot, a large portion of the Sonic community wants an Adventure, an Adventure 2 style games, but Sega just continues to refuse to make them. This is actually a good video game. I am indifferent towards it, though, like most of the series. Like, my... I, I've gone over this a little bit before, but the most amount of Sonic the Hedgehog that I've ever played was either Sonic 1 or 2 at a ba babysitter's place, because I had a Super Nintendo instead of a Sega Genesis. <laughs> Oh, those pacifiers that those babysitters will produce. Yeah. 
Well, I say if only Sonic the Hedgehog 3 was longer, that it would be even better, but it is my favorite of the classic Sonic the Hedgehog trilogy, and we hope you enjoyed your time with so Rock Rabbit. So are we watching the intro again? Well, just to show, like, oh, the adventure has is just beginning, as long as you're ready to chase after those Chaos Emeralds. Be safe, everybody. Thanks for watching, everyone.